Okay, in this video we are going to do a couple examples of partial derivatives. We're going to find partial x and partial y for the function f of xy is sine of x over 1 plus y. So we're going to need the chain rule a couple times. Um, the calc 1 chain rule though. So let's see if we can do it. So we're finding partial x, partial y for this function. So you can see uh, I'm going to let variables be different colors. So x is going to be blue and y is going to be green. And when they're being treated as constants, I'm going to change them to purple so that you can kind of distinguish what's happening. So for the first thing, if we want to find partial x, we're going to think of our function as um, f of x, y. But I change y to purple because now y is going to be a constant. So really, you can think of this as basically when you took calc 1, you had to find the derivative of maybe like sine of x over 3 or um, yeah, pick any number. So sine of x over 10, whatever. So to find that derivative, so that'll be partial x, the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing. So we're going to start with that. So it's basically the same process. You just have to kind of get your head used to it. So it's cosine of x over 1 plus y. And now the only variable in this when we're taking partial x is anything that has an x. So x is our variable. 1 plus y is actually a constant. So we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. The inner function is x over 1 plus y. So it's times. And then let's over on the side, we're going to find that. So I'm going to show it as partial um, x of x over 1 plus y. So that's just going to be the derivative of x is 1 and then over 1 plus y. Same as the derivative of x over 15 would just be 1 over 15 because x is our only variable. That's what we end up with. So we're going to multiply that in and we get this. So to say it like kind of succinctly, it would be the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing times the derivative of that thing. And then you just have to worry about finding the derivative of that thing. And keep in mind what your variable is. So in this, when we're doing partial x, the variable is x. And I'm going to say that over and over again because that's like the key thing. So let's see if we find partial y. It's the exact opposite situation. So our function is f of xy, but y is the only variable in this case. And it's going to be a little more complicated because it's in the denominator. So um, when we chain rule this thing, it's just a little bit worse, but it's still not bad. So partial y, it's the derivative of sine of something is cosine of that thing. And then times, we need the derivative of that thing. So we're going to find the derivative of x over 1 plus y. But y is the only variable. So in calc 1, if I were finding this derivative, I would have rewritten it as x times the quantity 1 plus y to the negative first. And now I would just um, kind of like a power rule chain rule thing. So x is a constant. Like it might as well be uh, 3 times the quantity 1 plus y to the negative first. If you could find that derivative, you can definitely find this partial derivative. So we're going to say bring the exponent down. So it's going to give me negative x and then subtract 1 from the exponent like this and then times the derivative of the inner function which is 1 plus y but the derivative of y is just 1 with respect to y. So we get this and then that I'm going to rewrite as negative x over 1 plus y squared. All right and that's it. That's how we can find the derivative, the partial derivatives of um, f of xy is sine of x over 1 plus y. You just have to keep track of like what's a variable, what's being held constant. And if you were good at these things in Calc 1, you'll definitely be good at them here. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.